Good morning, Santa Clarita. This is Michael Brown, After Hours News Director here at KHGS, and we're here for a very special broadcast. We have a very large and crowded studio this morning. I'm joined by Sergeant Shoemaker and Deputy Acosta from the Santa Clarita Valley Sheriff Station, along with Carrie Lujan from the city of Santa Clarita, and last but certainly not least, Shirley Miller, also from the Santa Clarita Valley Sheriff Station. How's everybody doing this morning? Thank you. Awesome. So we're here to talk about uh, safety on the road. Specifically, we're going to be addressing motorcycle safety, bicycle safety, and pedestrian safety. So first off, let's start with <laughs> motorcycle safety. And we were talking a little bit before, and I'm really glad um, that we did, because I learned that uh, Deputy Acosta, you were at a recent one a little bit ago, a motorcycle collision over on Boque Canyon Road and Valencia. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, correct. Uh, my partner and I, we were... Uh, rolling uh, northbound on railroad approaching uh, Soledad and Valencia Boulevard. Uh, at the time when we approached, it was just a motorcycle in the middle of the road. Uh, come to find out that just minutes before we arrived, there was a vehicle that was exiting from, uh, what do you say, the west side of the parking lot from the little shopping center and uh, just pulled out too much and there was a motorcycle traveling northbound and she just pulled forward too much and they just collided head on more or less. Motorcycle wasn't injured, just a little complaint of pain and a little bit of road rash maybe, but that's it. Right, but these sort of motorcycle incidents, I don't know if it's because I just started working in news and uh, I see it more often now, but it seems like they've kind of been on the rise. Uh, Sergeant Shoemaker, is that true? What, what do the statistics look like for that? Um, the, uh, our numbers are, are, have actually dropped in the last couple of years. Um, the I think what gets a little bit more is the social media aspect of this where with the social the Facebook pages that are in Santa Clarita um, a lot of people driving by will see it take pictures of it post it and then all kinds of comments you know from that and it just seems like it gets a little bit more notoriety than really you know even five years ago um, that they used to get back then gotcha so it's a decrease in the number but it's more of an increase in almost the awareness of it correct gotcha so is what might be causing this decrease? Now, obviously, we have Carrie with the city in here, and you and the Sheriff's Department in the city have been doing a phenomenal job with your Heads Up uh, traffic campaign. Do you think that's helping out a little bit? What could be causing this sort of decrease in uh, the number? Well, I hope that it is due to the awareness from Heads Up. We launched this campaign back in 2016. Um, it's won several awards for different communication organizations, um, as well as other ones throughout the country. Um, since that campaign launched in 2016, the collision rate has dropped 32.2%, and the injury rate is down 36.6%. So those are some really impressive numbers. So I hope that people are being more aware, they're not driving distracted, they're using crosswalks. Um, something that we're really going to be focusing on is to remind people that there are so many amenities within our city that you can use to safely cross the street, like our pedestrian and Paseo bridges. That's the absolute safest way to get across a busy street. Awesome. And I'm going to come back to you in a little bit when we talk about pedestrian safety because I really want to hit on some of that. But Shirley, what kind of causes this sort of uh, these motorcycle collisions in your experience? Because obviously, um, for those of you who don't know, Shirley Miller ser serves as the public information officer and she gets to deal with us media people whenever there's a crash or any sort of thing. So she gets to hear about all of it. So in your experience, from what you've learned, what, what sort of causes that? Well, I think that Deputy Acosta can better answer that question, but before we move on to him, you were asking about what has helped the decrease, and I wanted to point out about our motors unit and their proactive enforcement, and I feel that also has been a factor in, in getting out there. They, uh, they do phenomenal work out there in the field. We've also uh, increased our motor fleet from, um, in 2015 or 16. We had uh, two motors. Um, now we're at seven motors plus a motor sergeant. So right. that and their, their job is basically sp specifically just doing enforcement. Right. They're not responding to calls. They're looking for distracted driving. They're looking for unsafe speed, unsafe turns, all of those factors that could contribute to collisions. So they have that specialized unit specifically to deal with collisions. Is one, if I'm hearing well, enforcement. Enforcement, enforcement of enforcement, traffic right. enforcement. It, it's all proactive enforcement in the city. Gotcha. That's amazing. So, Deputy Acosta, what kind of causes these sort of collisions? It's, I'm glad to hear it's on the decline, but it's still happening. It's a mixture of both. You know, we have the, you know, people on their motorcycles and people in just regular uh, everyday vehicles. Um, it's just more just being aware of your, the road. You have motorcyclists that may be lane splitting, you know, 
driving high speed or even the driver's just checking left, checking right, and not checking left again, all of a sudden the motorcyclist is there. It's just more or less just being aware, just being always being aware. Gotcha. And that kind of leads into what we can do, what we can be doing to uh, prevent sort of this. Um, Sergeant Shoemaker, again, super glad to hear that we're on the decline. How can we keep that downward trajectory going there? I think it's the messaging um, through the city, through uh, the social media of it's constantly pushed out of being aware, paying attention to the road, not paying attention to your, your phones, um, even the radios in your car, putting on makeup, people eating food. Those are all distractions when driving, and that takes your focus away from where your eyes really should be. Right, so we need to become less distracted when we're, we're driving, and especially on a motorcycle because it's essentially just you and the road. There's no protective car around you. Correct. <laughs> well, we will be right back after a few messages. This is Michael Brown here with Shirley Miller, Carrie Lujan, Deputy Acosta, and Sergeant Shoemaker.